Hello and welcome back. One of my favorite hobbies to do is calligraphy. I like to do both the English style and also the Chinese brush style. And today I'm going to share with you a Qigong movement called Zen Circles. And I want you to imagine those beautiful brush painted circles that you see in Zen art or in Eastern art. And we're going to practice that with our body. So what we'll do to begin with, a little warm up, you can open your feet and lightly twist from side to side. It's called knocking on the door of life. So you just tap the back of your hand on the lower back, directly opposite your belly button, called the Ming Men door of life, acupressure point. And the front hand, you're gonna slap the chest just below your collarbone. You're kind of bouncing and you're springy as you do it, okay? Nice and easy. Breathe and just warm up. Relax your shoulders, your waist, and your chest. So this is like grinding the ink before you do your calligraphy. You've got to prepare yourself a little bit. All right. And relax. Take a moment, see if you feel a little tingling and circulation. And now open your feet to a comfortable stance. The toes can be slightly out, that's fine. Sink your hips down a little bit. One hand, the back of the hand will rest on that lower back point, the Ming Men. The other hand is going to be your brush. So imagine your arm is a paintbrush, the fingers and the hand is like the horse hair, the end of the brush. And you dip it in the ink and then you draw a circle with your arm like this. And you can shift your weight from side to side as you make that circle. Make sure you're not going too far. You're always keeping your joints relaxed. Your elbow, your wrist, your shoulder are soft. And just breathe naturally as you flow. Your eyes can follow your hands if you like and take your time. There's no rush. And visualize there's a huge canvas in front of you and you're painting this beautiful circle with your hand. Calligraphy is a practice of presence. There's no eraser. You can never go back or redo a stroke. Once you make it, it's there forever. And so it's a practice of presence. And yet you can always start again. If you didn't like the last circle, it doesn't matter. You can make a new one right now. I'll show you from the back view here. The hand is just resting lightly on the lower back, connecting to that door of life, acupressure point. Your body weight is shifting, your knees are soft, hips relaxed. The feet stay grounded, heels stay down. The hands are receptive. You can feel like you're moving not just through the air, but moving through a thicker substance, that chi, that energy is flowing. And now let's switch hands. So take your other hand now and move in the opposite direction. Gliding with your body. Imagine painting that circle, your palms and your fingertips, painting three-dimensionally, not just on paper, painting through the air. Zen circles. The 
the most important thing, you're practicing presence. See if you can devote your entire attention to what you're doing right now. You can anchor your mind in the present with your breath. Your breath is always happening right now. You can anchor yourself in the present with your body sensations. Your body sensations are always happening right now. And you can even anchor your awareness by just being aware of what you're aware of. Where is my mind right now? Watch your mind from that third person perspective and you can become present. Simplify your mind to doing just this right here, right now. Feel free to continue if you like. If you're ready to complete the practice, gather both arms in a circle and soften your knees, drawing the energy to your core. chest, one hand to your lower belly, close your eyes and breathe three times, relaxing your body completely. Feel the presence of your body as you breathe. enjoyed the Zen circles one of my favorite Qigong poses and practices. So practice it and I hope that you retain that connection in the present moment over and over again. I'll see you next time.